Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another extreme grocery budget video because I love doing these because they save me money and Christmas is coming up and I wanna save money. Out of pocket, I spent $28.59, but there was a but. I need eggs for this and I have my own chicken eggs, but I know everybody doesn't have their own chicken eggs. So what I'm gonna do I have six eggs right here. And my Walmart sells a six pack of eggs for $1.23 right now. So I'm adding that onto my $28.59 so that you guys can get a complete total. And also I did my usual shopping. I went to my Walmart, Audi, and the Dollar Tree this time because they're right there together where I live, so I can do that feasibly and not waste any gas. If you don't live close to a bunch, you know, weigh your options, see if it's worth it with the gas prices, you know. A lot of things that I had in mind were sold out. There was a lot of bare shelves, it's crazy. So, I did what I could, and I'm gonna show you the random stuff I got and see what we can do. Oh yeah, the total with adding in the $1.23 for the eggs is $29.82, I believe. $29.82, so not even 30 bucks. Let's see how far this 30 bucks can get us. This is what I got. I got a big bag of the chicken leg quarters, milk, a little two pound pack of self-rising flour, bagels, Audi tater tots, a pack of ground beef, yes, I'm trying the roll again, hopefully this time there won't be a piece of rubber in it, a mozzarella cheese, two pounds of brown rice, California veggies, Brussels sprouts, um, there was very little pineapple at Audi, and this one looks like it's about the end of its day, so I'm going to need to use that fast. Then I got Walmart pancake mix and the Dollar Tree for the syrup. And of course, my six eggs, but I've added that in. Okay, how many days can I get out of this? I had to change up so much stuff that I had in my head that I'm kind of, oh, but I can make do, I can make this work. So the first meal for this challenge is gonna be dinner. What am I gonna do? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I forgot to show you my little onion. I think what I'm gonna do first is prep my chicken leg quarters. I'm gonna clean them and I'm gonna cut them in half and I'm gonna separate them into meals. I can visualize things better when I do that. Alrighty, here's my chickens. I haven't did anything except get them out of the bag. I'm trying to decide. I think for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do some good old homemade chicken dumplings. Ryder will be so happy. I'm, gonna, I'm using just one thigh and one leg for my homemade chicken dumplings. That's it. I'm gonna cut the rest of these up and see what I got. Now I'm gonna divide it up and try to come up with meals as I do this. Howdy. Okay, I put probably four cups of water in my Instant Pot. I'm going to stick in my chicken. Okay, one thing I like to do to my homemade chicken dumplings, I like to drop a bay leaf in there because it gives it a nice homey taste. I'm gonna do some salt. And some pepper, I need to refill this. Yes. Optional 100%. I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder in it. I eyeballed it. Put on the lid. Hit her to ceiling. You know, it might help if I plug her up. Okay. <laughs> Manual. Since it's bone in chicken, I'm gonna do 30 minutes. 
Ew. Um, but yeah. I'm going to take this out and show the chicken. As you can see, I tore off most of the meat. All of the meat. <laughs> see that? Now I'm going to bring her back to a boil and I'm going to home make dumplings completely. I showed you guys how to make chicken and dumplings before like this. But I've never showed you how to make homemade dumplings. Like completely homemade. So that's what I'm going to do now. It only takes three ingredients to make homemade dumplings. Um, I'll be using the self-rising flour, some of that milk, and you'll need a fat such as butter or Crisco. And I always have Crisco. This canister has lasted a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be taking probably half of this little pack of self-rising flour to make dumplings. Yeah, that's about half these. It's probably a tablespoon and a half. Two tablespoons of fat. So I'm gonna slowly get started by just breaking up my fat into my flour. She's going. I'm gonna start with that much. And if I need more, I'll add more. A little bit more. I like a fluffy. By the way, you can make biscuits like this too. Just use buttermilk. I'm actually getting sticky and I like it. Just a little bit more. This is probably enough. See how sticky? Yeah. That's what I like. Okay. She's pulling. My hands are still sticky. See how they're becoming really fluffy? Because I made them extra sticky. Now I'm just gonna let them continue to cook and I'm gonna start adding some salt and pepper. We like lots of pepper in dumplings. I'm gonna do a little onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. And the dumplings are done. The chicken was falling off the bone when I got it out of here to shred. So now it's just, woo. So now, Come on, heat. So now it's just extra shreddy. See that? <laughs> my kitchen, my rules. My family, my rules. All right. Now that being said, uh, this is probably all we're gonna have for dinner. Because if you've ever had a good chicken and dumpling, especially homemade, you know it is filling. It would be an absolute waste to make other things because the kids wouldn't be able to handle it all, neither would I. Um, and yes, there are no veggies in here. But it's okay. It's, it's, it's good. It's all good. Um, and here is a big old bowl of chicken and dumplings. This is a big bowl. Me and Dusty are actually busy with a project. So we're not going to eat dinner now. Like there's, there's still a bunch in here. So we'll get dinner out of this. But the boys are just eating it for now. Morning. It's pancakes for breakfast. I have deer jerky going, so you're gonna hear that for this whole meal. <laughs> okay, I'm getting ready to make lunch. I'm gonna do a tater tot casserole. Normally tater tot casseroles call for like a cream of mushroom, cream of celery soup, something like that, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't have that and it wasn't in my budget, so I'm gonna make like a gravy like a wood sausage gravy but with beef and mix it all up together and let's just do it okay 
Okay, I have my hamburger meat and my onions in a skillet, and we're gonna cook together. I seasoned it up with some garlic powder, pepper, and salt. When the meat is done, don't drain it. Use that fat to make a gravy. Yeah, I know, weird. Oh my gosh, you're using beef fat. You use bacon grease. You use sausage grease. How's this any different? I put two tablespoons of flour in it. She's thick. Now I'm going to shred up this much of the cheese and put on top of this and then add the tater top. Um, now I'm going to bake it. Just adding this in here when Dusty ate this, he was going, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. Sorry for the loud dehydrator over there. Mmm. That's good. Mm. Hey, it's dinner time. I want to do, I was going to use those four pieces of chicken to like make a stir fry or something, but I decided I'm going to use it to make a, like a chicken rice soup. Alrighty, I want to use my Instant Pot. I put five cups of water in here, threw in a bay leaf. And the best thing about an Instant Pot is you can cook frozen chicken in it. So that's what I'm doing. Try not to let it splash. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to let it cook on manual for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to make some homemade biscuits, straw biscuits. Um, to go with this. And I took a cup of that milk. Did you know you can make your own butter milk by putting a little bit of vinegar in it, letting it sit five minutes? That's what we're going to do. Okay. It's probably a cup of flour, I guess. Might use a cup and a half. Crisco. Once again, it's like this, the same ratio as dumplings. You just make it thicker. And I'm using buttermilk. Just breaking it up just like I did the dumplings. Hi, it's me again. To go in the chicken and rice, I'm going to use half of this and I'm going to chop it up real fine. This is all I'm using. Okay, I have greased up a little pan here. This is set for five minutes. So I'm gonna just slowly add. So I might not need all of it. Yeah. Normally I cut out my biscuits, but I don't want to. <laughs> I just really don't want to right now. It makes a mess and I want to have to clean it. So we're doing what my mama did. Patting them out. I'm running my knife through these veggies. Huh. 
I measured everything out that I'm gonna use. I'm using a cup of that brown rice that I have. You already seen my chopped veg. I'm gonna be using some thyme, parsley, salt and pepper. I think that's it. I'm not sure. I might use some garlic powder too. I'm just winging this soup. As you can see, I took the chicken out and now I'm gonna add in my cup of brown rice to the broth. Those little veggies I chopped. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna add some salt to taste. Some pepper. I decided to use some garlic powder. Parsley flakes. Some thyme. I'm just guessing at this because I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> okay, I want to shred up the chicken. As you can see, I shredded up that chicken and I added it to the pot. I think that's all I'm going to add. I might do onion powder too. Give me a minute. I'll do onion powder. Too. I added onion powder in here. You can't tell, but I did. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pressure cook this for 10 minutes so that rice can get done and the veggies. 10 more minutes. See this? She's done. I gotta get that bay leaf out of there. But for funsies, let's add fourth cup of milk. I want it creamy. I don't know. Is this gonna be good? Yes. Yes, it is. And we have soup. Chicken and rice. Oops. My little ugly biscuit. Look at her. That she's fluffy. Give her a go. That's good. You like it a lot? Mm-hmm. It's good. He's out. Good morning. Breakfast today. Doing something light because it's one of them days. I'm gonna to be toasting up a bagel for everyone, not a whole bagel, half of a bagel, and I wanna take the pineapple and I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna use some of the pineapple to make like a compote, like a jelly like to put on this. Let's, let's do it, easy peasy. My favorite contraption ever, this is a pineapple core. This is awesome, this is three bucks at Walmart a while back, probably more now, but all right, my pineapple. I saved the core. This is my plan in my head, okay? So I wanna use probably a third of this to make, a, like I said, a compote of pineapple and sugar, and it's gonna be like a jelly to put on the bagels. Then, I didn't throw away the core, I saved the cores. So, my plan in my head. I'm gonna take some of the chicken. I'm gonna cut chicken off of the bone. I want to douse it in some like flour and I'm going to fry it up. All right. In little pieces. Instead of orange chicken, I'm going to use pineapple. Make a pineapple chicken. I've never did this before. There is this orange chicken recipe that I do a lot. And instead of oranges, I'm going to use pineapple. I mean, it's got to be good. Right? So that's what I'm gonna do for lunch. I have toasted the bagels. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this compote. I'm starting out with like a fourth cup of water and I'm just gonna, I'm cutting this in here. Normally, I would add sugars to things like this. And I might, it's just, I want to cook all the natural sugars out of the pineapple first because it's very sweet. And then I'll see what I need to do after that. So I'm just gonna cook this down slowly. And see what we can come up with. Just reducing it down. Put like two tablespoons of sugar in it because it wasn't sweet enough. 
oddly. I'm just gonna cook it down until it gets really thick like a jelly. This smells like a pineapple upside down cake. Here's the bagel and I swear it smells like a pineapple upside down cake. Okay, Ryder loves some pineapple upside down cake and he's gonna taste test this, he's very excited. It does. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool. This is the first time I've made a compote with pineapple. So I didn't know what to expect. It's good. It's been a busy day. Um, so what I'm doing, I'll let the back of those chicken thighs and chicken legs thaw out. And I'm going to try to cut all of the meat off of the bone and then slice it up. So I want to get to that right fast. I did it. There's three thighs and two legs there. That is the best off in the world. It took me probably 20 minutes. And some of it was still frozen, so it was kind of easier frozen. So tip, if you have to cut meat off the bone, leave it halfway frozen. Alrighty, here's, here's my bowl of chicken. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this flour, just a little, sprinkle it on it. That was probably two to three tablespoons. My tum, cornstarch. Always good to have in the house. Just a little salt and pepper. That's it. Just make sure it's all coated. It's easier to do it like this than it is to individually do it all i'm actually going to put a little bit more cornstarch in here okay, i'm just gonna wing this i don't this could be a thing already i have no idea but i'm gonna use my recipe that i know to make orange chicken i'm gonna substitute pineapple i'm gonna take out this bad part of the pineapple but put it all in there. I want to cut the core up smaller. I'm gonna add some soy sauce. Say a fourth a cup. Ground ginger. If it'll come out. This is all stuff I'm using, all the stuff that I'm using to add to this is from my pantry. Common pantry items. Brown sugar. I hope this is not gonna be gross. Sure, why not? I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Should I do onion powder? Sure. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Probably three fourths cup of water. Looks like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my immersion blender and try to blend that up. You can use a blender blender, but I don't wanna give one out. Okay, it looks weird, but I have to heat this up and cook it and reduce it down. So it'll probably look better after that. It's It smells pretty okay. I'm going to reduce this down after I cook my chicken. I don't want to maybe scald it or something, so I'm just going to take my time. I'm heating up the oil in a pan to cook my chicken in. As I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and cook my rice in the Instant Pot like usual. The brown rice that I bought. As my rice is going. Everybody knows if you've watched my channel before that I make my rice in the Instant Pot. I have this much left.
<sighs> there we go. That is the cooked chicken. There's my rice. It's about done. Um, so this is three thighs and two legs. And baby, I saw this off to the bone. It's, it's a lot of work to do it. But, you know, hopefully it'll be worth it. Please, please be good. Please be good. Okay, let's get started on the sauce. Sauce that I made. I hope this is good. Man, I hope it is. <laughs> Oops, accidentally left chunks of pineapple. That's fine, it'll be okay. If I made this again and didn't have such a tight budget, I would probably add like minced garlic instead of garlic powder. But it's starting to turn like a deeper color, see? See? She's turning a deeper color. I added my chicken. Maybe I have too much sauce. I made too much sauce compared to the chicken. Oopsie. <laughs> but at least it'll be coated. There's the brown rice. There's the pineapple chicken. She looks good. She looks crazy good. But is it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Bray. That's pretty good. Really? Wow! Oh, I'm surprised. I, I really didn't know if it would be good or not. So pineapple chicken is good. Yeah. Hello, my little booger butt. Give us a taste test, Kaka. Oh! Oh, no. So, lunch was very, very filling. Rice, the brown rice. And the chicken. Pineapple chicken. And what I did, it, it needed some salt. So add some extra salt to that if you make that. I just sprinkled it on top and it made it. It was really good. Brayden has requested pancakes. He's obsessed with some pancakes. And he asked me if we could have pancakes for dinner. So I said, okay. So we're gonna do just pancake night. Everybody gets pancakes. And some milk. I'm just going to show everybody what we have left over. We probably have a cup and a half of pancake mix left over. This much flour left. Syrup left. We have some of that cheese. Probably a cup of brown rice. Uh, four total bagels. Oh, wait. Three and a half bagels. We still have a little over half of this. The Brussels sprouts, Kylan stop. We have this much of the tater pots, a bag of chicken left, and we have all of the six eggs left. What can we make with this doo doo? We'll see tomorrow. I've got to tell you, we have like a half a gallon of that milk left. It, it was in the fridge. Good morning, good morning. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna toast bagels. I'm gonna fry up an egg for each person. I'm going to put some cheese on top, and we're going to have egg on a bagel. Easy. Okay, I got those bagels toasted. Um, The fried eggs are frying in there. You can't see them, but they're in there. <laughs> Me and Kyler are getting scrambled eggs. There's one egg in here for both of us, and I'm adding a little bit of that milk to make them fluffier. Okay, here's breakfast for everybody. Ryder, Brayden, and Daddy. Got a fried egg, mozzarella on top. Me and Kylan got scrambled eggs, and I put mozzarella and milk in those. And that is our breakfast for today. We have one egg left. I just met some mozzarella and one whole bagel. That's good. When I look at this, I see fried rice. So that's what I'm going to make for lunch. Fried rice. <laughs> Let's see how I can get this done. What I'm going to do with the rest of this, there's probably two thirds of a bag in here. I want to go ahead and heat these up in the microwave, kind of fold this over. Heat them up so they'll soften up and then I'm going to chop them up. Absolutely love making my rice in the instant pot because it makes it good and sticky and I love it. So 
with one cup of brown rice that I have left over, I added one and a fourth cups of water. And because I am making fried rice, I did put a tablespoon of chicken bouillon in it. I chopped up all the veggies. I probably need to run a knife through it a little bit more. I don't have any more onion, so I'm gonna use some onion powder in this. Also, I'm gonna use some garlic powder. It smells so good. I dumped my rice into the skillet and I added soy sauce, as you can see, and garlic powder. She's cooking. I think it's a little bit juicier today than normal, but that's because it's brown rice and I added a little extra water and I probably shouldn't have, but it's all right. It smells good. Roger's be my little helper over there. And I am whisking up the egg. <laughs> Big pan, by the way, huge. This smells really good, even though it's a little extra moist. Here is the fried rice, and yeah, it's extra moist because I put too much water in the rice, but it smells really good. And Ryder is going to use some of his seaweed to eat with his because, I mean, he has it, and if you guys had something, I'm sure you would use it too. So that's what he's going to use to eat with his. I think Braden is too. Okay, everybody. Just to let you know, Colin said he did not want this because he's seen the broccoli in it. I did not get to trick him. So, Colin doesn't want to eat his. So, I want to separate that amongst Ryder and Bray. And Colin asked for pancakes. We're going to turn it into a pancake. So, I'm going to make a small batch of pancakes for Kai. Good. You're going to eat some of your seaweed with it? Yeah. Okay, Ryder. How do you feel about the foods that I've made the past few days? Good or bad? Good. Has it been enough food for you? Yeah. Okay. Dinner time. And I've brought out the air fryer from the basement. And I brought out the waffle maker. I thought out that last bag of chicken all day. I'm going to eat some fried chicken in the air fryer. Now, a waffle maker, if I'm like, what? Okay, so I have this idea. I have some leftover tater tots, right? Like, fourth of a bag, third of a bag, something like that. There's a tater tot amount. Anyways, so I thought I, was, I thought I would make tater tot hash browns in the waffle maker. Sure. <laughs> and I'm going to make those Brussels sprouts for dinner today. We're dwindling down. Barely got anything left. Yes, as you guys seen for lunch, Colin refused the fried rice because he's seen to have broccoli in it. Sometimes I can disguise it and he can eat it, but when he sees it one time, he's like, nope. So he had to have pancakes. Yeah. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, this is what I'm doing with the chicken. I don't have any more eggs, but I do have some milk left. So I put the chicken in the bowl if you can see in there, <laughs> it'd be better if I moved the camera, but I added milk in here to wet it and I'm going to like uh, season it up onion powder, like basic seasonings. Daughter's standing behind the camera right now making fun of me. I don't appreciate you making fun of your mom. Anyways, so let, let's, let's season it up. I seasoned it up with paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Basic seasonings. I'm going to mix this up and let it sit in the refrigerator for probably like 10 minutes. I don't know why. I just feel like I should do that. <laughs> All right. Here's my chicken. It's been sitting for a good minute. I want to sprinkle some flour over it. I'm not doing like a crispy fried chicken. I'm doing a basic southern grandma fried chicken. All right. It's going to be thin. Thin crust. If you like thick crust, this ain't the one. Because <laughs> this is thin. I put it in the air fryer and yeah, it's it's crowded in there. I want to spray the tops with a little bit of oil. This is like totally optional. I just I just want to. Because I just feel like I should. I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to stick her in. 
cook on, where's the chicken button? Chicken. There we go. Surely this will work, right? Surely, surely. Okay, let's, let's see how this works out. I don't know, it might not. The question is, did she waffle? Oh, <laughs> I dropped it. Hey, it looks like she did. Does it come out? And I think it comes out easy. <gasps> Yay! It, well, I don't know. Let's put it on there a little longer. <laughs> she waffled. Um, it took a second to get her out, but she's done. And it's kind of breaking where the tater tots came. I think I'm gonna have to cook the next one a little longer, but so far so good. No complaints. Weird. <laughs> I'm from flipping them over. I heated up my Brussels sprouts in the microwave first, so it'll soften them up and it won't take as long. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna saute these up with some olive oil. Salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I want to slice these with something because those are too big. Salting is beginning. I added paprika to this too. I think Brussels sprouts taste the best when they have a char on them. It might just be me, but this is how we like them. There we go. There's dinner tonight. Air fryer chicken. Uh, I want to call this a tater cake. <laughs> it's not like my mammals, but it's like a tater hot cake and brussels sprouts dinner yeah it's a waffle tater tot oh it's hot big hot oh, i'm sorry Hi. take two cutie patootie pants yes he has a bing bug chair in the corner of the sectional <laughs> it's fine let's do a taste test for that chicken leg how's it how's it going kai Is it good? Do you like it? Oh no. Passed out for a whole five seconds. Okay, now try the tater tot tater cake thing. It's even better than the regular one. <laughs> okay, Kaka, do you think that's enough food? Did mommy give you too much or just enough or too little? Just enough. Okay. <laughs> this is what I've got left. It ain't much. But there's still meals to be had. Hello. It's so early. We, we don't have much left. Don't have much left. But there's still meals to be had. I just make pancakes because I do have syrup. Your pancakes are good. Like, gosh, a long time ago, a long time ago, I remember seeing this on Pinterest and I made it. Somehow I made a cinnamon roll out of pancake mix. This is how much I have left. From what I remember, it was just like milk and sugar. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm, I don't want to look it up because I'm just being true to my brain, you know. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Should I do that? Should I try to make something else out of pancake mix besides pancakes? Preheat my oven to 350, I guess. I'm just going to... I'm winging this. I, I swear I think that's what the recipe called for. I remember it was so easy. But I forgot about it. And I haven't did it since. Oh, I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar in there. That's probably a tablespoon. Let's do two. Food fatigue is real, and I don't wanna just keep doing the same old thing, you know? I want to try to make it different. We'll see if this works. If it don't work, I apologize, and I ruined a perfectly good batch of. Pancake mix. 
okay. It's a doughy. It's doughy. It's doughy. Okay. See? It's doughy. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Little. Surely this will work. I mean, yeah. It's gotta. But I'm very excited about this. Okay. Now, wash my hands. I'm going to what, make like the cinnamony filling. I'm, I'm guessing at this. Some cinnamon in, of course. And making brown sugar. I hope this works out. I don't want it to be a fail. I mean, nothing with cinnamon can be a fail, can it? Okay, I'm gonna start working this like a dough. Okay, I'm gonna melt it just a little to have it be able to spread easier. Okay. I'd be a little too melty. Don't do it as long as I did. <laughs> Hopefully, it will. I'll let it sit here a minute, let it solidify. I thought I was recording this whole time, but I took it out because it solidified and I cut it up. You gotta be a little careful because the dough is a little finicky, but, but let's cook it. Hello everyone. I just checked my cinnamon rolls and they're ugly. Extremely ugly. We're gonna have to eat them with a fork or a spoon. But hey, I tried. Everything can't be awesome. Some failures have to happen. Maybe I could perfect it one day. But they're still edible, but they're ugly. So when you see these, just remember they're ugly and I know it. They smell like heaven. Now, I know I just said it, but they're ugly. Okay. Oh gosh, they're ugly. Don't judge me. They were pretty when I put them on there. Well, not really, but. Oh. Okay, there is. I put syrup on top, cause that's what I have. <sighs> It smells divine. Okay, boo boo. Tell, <laughs> tell everybody how my ugly pancake cinnamon roll is. I don't need a fork. I mean, are you sure? Mm hmm. Mm. That was good. Tell, is it 100% honesty? Yeah, it's good. Well, it's good. Okay. But it's just mm. ugly. Okay. Huh? Proof that ugly things can be tasty. Because this is pretty bomb. It's just, you know. Hello. It's so dreary out today. It's totally ruining my vibe. Lunchtime. I don't have much stuff left. <laughs> this is totally making something out of nothing for this little budget. Whew. So I'll preheat my oven to 350. I have probably a cup of flour in here. I have some milk. I have some vinegar in my pantry. I wanna homemade some biscuits and make a homemade, just plain white gravy for lunch. Yeah, I knew new vegetables, but y'all, you know what? This is just me showing people how to make do with what they have, right? Don't harp on me because we didn't have vegetables yet today. We will at dinner. It's fine. And by the way, did you know in the Great Depression when people struggled really, really hard, they had to make do with what they have? And that is what I'm showing everyone. So, fed you police. Be nice to me, all right? Okay. So, that's what I'm planning. And that's going to use up pretty much everything that I have. First is get some of this milk that we got left over. I don't want to make more than I need to because I need this for the gravy. I'm going to make homemade buttermilk again. I'm putting some vinegar in there. Squish her up and I'm gonna let this set for five minutes. I'm gonna save like a tablespoon of this for the gravy. Okay. Saved it. There's like a maybe. Can you see that in there? Can't really see that. Um, there's like I'm gonna put a little bit more here. 
Okay, now there's like a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of that. All right. Pantry item. Please get you some sort of fat like this to keep in your pantry so you can have it for times like this. When you only have a certain amount of money. All right. Like before, I'm going to combine, break it up a bit. Now I'll be back when the milk is ready. Boom, boom. Let's do this. Hands are the best mixers. I think that I use just enough milk. They're probably not gonna be as fluffy, but this is okay. These will work. All right, pan and I'm greasing her up. Boom. What, Brooke, what are you doing? I'm gonna cut them into squares so they're not as ugly as the last one. Leave you there. There we go. Six biscuits. What? That's good enough. Six biscuits will work. Going to bake these on 350 for until they're done. I don't know when that'll be. Okay, the butter's melted. I'm going to use the rest of my flour. Empty. Here we go. That's all the milk. Now, pepper. Lots of pepper for pepper gravy. And some salt. She's done. There's the gravy and biscuits. Those little, that's the biscuits. <laughs> if you're wondering what the lump is, they, they ugly. <laughs> All right, homie, tell everybody how you like those gravy and biscuits. It's good. Okay, Ryder, I have a question for you. What? This past three, four days, four days, how do you like the meals? They're good. All right. Okay, Brayden, give the gravy and biscuits a go. Good. Okay, so I have a question for you. The last three or four days, sorry, the last four days, have you liked our meals? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you have it. A lot of people have been asking me to do one of these extreme grocery budgets without beans because their kids don't like beans or they just don't like beans. And this was me trying that. Plus, I had a totally different plan when I went to the grocery store. And there's a lettuce shortage, apparently. I couldn't get my salad mix or lettuce heads. It, it was all gone. It was all gone. The only thing they had was spring mix, the big one. And I wasn't doing that. You notice that there wasn't an absolute ton of veggies or fruit in this, but I may do, and I try to stretch it out good enough. If you have ever struggled in your life, you know that when times are tough, you cannot get access to the finest ingredients. So, just, you know, make do with what you have. Bed is best. Don't let anybody make you feel bad for what you feed your family. I've always said that, and I will always say that. Back in the Great Depression, when people struggle to feed their family. But like any time in the past, when people have struggled to feed their family, they may do with what they could afford. And that is okay. Don't let anybody make you feel guilty. People used to fill their meals up with potatoes, breads, things like that, that would keep the hunger pains at bay. So you're not gonna have access to the finest ingredients if you have a limited budget and that is okay. And also, when your grocery store, like mine, is experiencing shortages and there wasn't a lot to choose from that was budget friendly, I made do. So I did what I could. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was really fun to make, coming up with all these different things. And what I've always said from the beginning, 
lay out your ingredients that you're working with and you can just look at it. Even if it takes you 30 minutes, look at it. Try to see what you can come up with. That's how I did with the pineapple chicken. I was like, okay, maybe I can use the pineapples instead of oranges. And it was pretty good. Like I said, add a little salt. I didn't add enough salt to it at first. Adding a little salt to the top made it, ooh, made it pop. It was really good. And I cannot stress this enough. Good weeks when you can afford it, try to stock your pantry with necessity like items like the chicken bouillon, the tomato bouillon, beef bouillon, um, pastas, rice, spices, soy sauce. I will link in the description box down below the things that I think are a good deal at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. I have like two of those videos, but please, I urge you to take part in the $5 a week pantry challenge if you can afford it. You don't even have to do $5, you could do a little less. But if you stock your pantry with spices and sugar and flour, things like that, when you hit a rough patch, you can have things, you can go to the store and take $30 and you can turn it in to meals, complete meals for four, five days and it will get you to the next paycheck. 60 meals for $30 is pretty awesome. All right, I love you guys and I hope that you enjoy this video and I will see you next video and I love you so much. And you're probably wondering where the bagel is. <sighs> I turned the bagel into like a grilled cheese and ice is going to be my lunch. <laughs> grilled cheeses are good. Just because it's on a bagel doesn't make it any different. But like I said, veggie, please stay away. It's, I'm not worried about your opinions. So. And neither is Sally that's trying to figure out what she can feed her family for tonight. Okay. She doesn't worry about what your opinions are on veggies or bread. Okay. <laughs> so be nice. Please be positive. Please be kind. Let's spread positivity and joy in this world, not negativity. And please choose your words wisely. And I love you guys. And I'll see you next video. Bye. It's good.